I've had a lot of people message me um, on my socials. Jeez, check me out. Um, asking obviously about my beard transplant. Um, so I've always like I've said like I'll, I'll always do a video about it, and um, I'll try to speak like through the processes and stuff like that. So yeah, but the amount of people that had messaged me, I thought it was about time that I'd just do a little a little YouTube video. Do you know what I mean? Just you know. First of all, like what what anyone's going to do, and it's probably why you've ended up messaging me, is you've done your research, which is like mad. So I'd done my research, looking into what I wanted done. I've always wanted a beard, like regardless. But like my dad can't grow a beard, my brother can't grow a beard. I mean, like we'll grow like the little bit like around here and like a little bit on the tash, but that's about it. Not getting like nothing. Do you know what I mean? So I'd always wanted one and to have an option to have one, do you know what I mean? So I'd looked at it for maybe like two or three years to make sure it was something that I really wanted done. I'd, I'd, I didn't want to just be like one day wake up and be like, I want a beard, I'll make message someone and try to get it all done. So I messaged, uh, I went on Google first and I typed in trans, uh, beard transplant, hair transplant, get that sort of gist. And uh, obviously once came up in the UK and stuff like that. And then I was like, well, I'm not really sure. And then, like a bit further down I typed, I typed in uh, for Turkey and then the first thing that came up was hair of Istanbul. One of the first things that came up was hair of Istanbul with five star reviews and I was like okay this looks quite promising. So then I clicked on their socials and I saw on Instagram they had a lot of following um, which is also an, another another benefit because obviously you're not going to go somewhere that's got like low following, um, not good reviews and stuff like that. I think that's always always the most important thing to do regardless of what you're getting done especially if like even if it's a girl getting cosmet cosmetic stuff done you want to make sure it's the best reviews and people speak highly of the place so obviously i came across a hair of istanbul and everything was like professional um and stuff like that so i got in contact with someone and one of the employees um was messaging me on on whatsapp and i was asking like generally about the the procedure how long it would take, where I'd be staying, how long would I be staying for. Yeah, so I, I was in contact with someone and they talked me through the procedure and stuff like that. So I booked it, I booked it in um, for the end of my season, my football season. Um, and then I went straight there, I went with my mum. It was like, and obviously you want to be, you want to be really confident and don't have any stress. Obviously, I think it's, you're going to have some stress, but you want to feel like stress free for when you're flying, that you know that everything's going to be calm. You, everything's laid out in order like the days I think it was four days I was there so all the days are laid out so you don't literally don't need to stress about anything the only thing that you stress about is obviously getting the, the, the procedure done um, so we arrived in Istanbul and there was a, a guy with a sign so they, they picked us up in a mini cab um, at the airport and honestly there was four seats in total um, so there was like so as I'm sat here now, this is like obviously the driver, and then in the back there have been two at the back and then two here at the, at the back of the, the, the driver and the passenger seat. And uh, so there was just me and my mum, so we sat at the back with a massive screen in between here, a big screen, um, so we could watch YouTube, Netflix, or whatever. And, uh, and they put up the privacy glass, so we had like drinks at the side of us, we had chocolates we had everything there i think that our i think the drive was about an hour and honestly it flew by because it, it was so comfortable so it so it ease um and i remember we went straight to the clinic first um they welcomed me so so friendly so nice so just showed me about the clinic um and then after that we went i introduced myself to the people who were going to end up doing the procedure um, and then after that, we went to the hotel, which was I think 10 minute drive from the clinic. Went straight to the hotel. Everything was already booked. Everything was at ease. I literally went there, went to the reception, took my key. Five star hotel. I think it was the Hilton. I think. Yeah, I, we stayed at we stayed at the Hilton um, in Istanbul. Five star hotel. Um, so we went straight. My mum and myself went straight to the the room, and. Uh, 
honestly amazing like top top tier and which was also included within the price and um, the only thing you had to pay for like obviously you had to pay for the procedure but separate the only thing you had to pay separately was the flights and so the first day we got there we just chilled in the hotel and then the second day was the procedure so obviously after they showed me the clinic yesterday they showed me all about what would happen where i come in and stuff like that so we went straight to the clinic the second day they put uh, one of the employees picked me up in the same sort of car that I arrived in. We went straight to the clinic. All again wel welcomed me, greeted me, made sure I was okay at ease and stuff like that. Then we went straight into the 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 drawing area. So obviously they they, they shaved the back of my head where they needed to get the grafts and yeah. And then we just we, we started the drawing process. So obviously the the doctor at the time would draw on the beard how he how he thought would suit me obviously getting the, the right angles and stuff like that to make sure it all all lined up um, and then I would give it the the go if I thought it was good I think I, I ended up like retouching it a bit because I didn't want it so high or, or something like that um, but then once we agreed both of us agreed we went straight to the process so um, got all uh, suited up got the, the the gown on and stuff like that went straight into the the um, the clinic room went in there and obviously at the start I'm your face down so they can get the grass uh, at the back of your head so all, all you feel is maybe I think it's about four no uh, four to six injections in the back of your head which is local anesthetic um, and obviously that's just you basically need that done so you don't feel any pain when they're getting out the grass and it's literally like a pinch so like as if someone's pinching you like six pinches and then you don't feel nothing for I think it's t maybe two or three hours just getting the graphs out. To, oh, it actually depends how how much work you need done. Obviously, I needed a full beard, so I think it was about three hours. Um, and then once that's once they get all the graphs done, then it's lunch time. So you go straight to your lunch. You have your lunch that you picked out um, previously. So they ask if you've got any allergies or something like that or and then they give you a set menu what you'd like to what you'd pick from and also if you want to customize that you can customize something that that, that you'd like um i obviously i can't remember what i got actually i think i might have had salmon or something like that um so i'd had my lunch and then after i was ready and i felt good i went back for the the second part of the the procedure which was obviously the implementing the, the grass into my beard the area that we had designed together um and again, I think I'm maybe about six, maybe three injections on this side, three injections on this side. Um, maybe about six to eight injections within my beard. Um, so I don't feel nothing throughout the procedure. Um, so in a total, it's about six hours. And then obviously after that's done, um, you need to be very careful for the next like two or three days. Um, because imagine you just get up and you, you go back to normal. You like try to like play with your like now beard you all the grafts are just going to come off so you need to be very careful you need to it's a long it's a long process um so you need to take like every day um gradually like so every day will start to you'll start to see a difference and um, your skin will start to adapt um to obviously the, the procedure you've had done so the first the first so that was the second the second day so the third day, I think I just chilled in the hotel until maybe mid afternoon. Then went back to the the clinic. They washed the back of my head and also gave also advised me to get certain products which which would be beneficial for the healing process. Um, which, which I think was a, a shampoo from my hair, the back of my hair, uh, to stop obviously getting the dry skin after the the, the process at the back, uh, getting the grass out the back of my head. One was a shampoo from my beard, and one was then then densifier just a, like a densifier lotion that would out uh, that i would end up applying to my beard i think after maybe the first month or so but i'll insert the images and stuff um and also the steps that the that the the doctor told me to take um throughout the, the 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 recovery period um so this is this is i think this is Three years on, and my beard's fully, fully grown. Do you know what I mean? Like I, ha I have it shaped like this. Like if I wanted to, I could grow it longer. And also, if I wanted to, I could get it a lot shorter. But this is how I like it in a minute. Or maybe I'll trim it down for when I go away. But this is how it is at the minute. I generally couldn't recommend Hair of Istanbul highly enough. Literally, from everything, 
from the price to the whole experience i think it's it was really 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 good and i've recommended so many other people like i've not been able to message everyone back on on instagram and stuff like that but um everyone that i've i've spoke to i've i've said that, like i couldn't recommend highly enough so that's why i thought i'd make this video to just like if anyone has any like i've seen on youtube and stuff i typed it in myself to see and there wasn't like uh, a person like myself talking through the process and obviously giving people the, the chance to to listen to obviously what i went through and 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 how how i feel about it so i thought i'd make this youtube video and man's on youtube i thought i'd make this youtube video just to like as a reference for anyone else who who'd have any questions and stuff like that and obviously it's my first youtube video i don't know if i've answered everything um but like comment below and stuff and comment anything that you that you want me to to answer or if you've got any questions that you want that you want me to answer or even drop me a dm on instagram and i'll try to get try to get back to you i'll try to put my instagram like up here or something i don't know that's what you do and stuff like that but um like and like the video and and subscribe and i'll uh i'll try to upload more because i wanna but yeah that's just uh, a brief a brief part of of what i went through and i'll make future videos on on everything else like maybe styling how i style my beard and yeah maybe i should style my hair because that is a disaster at the minute but anyway thanks for watching and uh as I said before, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff, and I'll see you in the next video.